I know, odd place to be looking at. So we're in the garage, next to the heater. It's actually quite warm in here. I've been in here for a little over, almost. I've been about two hours. Can't see your breath anymore. Went out and bought a new toy. Because, you know, instead of banging bearings out, I figured we'll see if we can try to press them out. So I just got, literally, just got done pounding the seal out. And that was, I knew it was going to be a nightmare. But now we've got to get this bearing out. So, and of course the wear plate just kind of snaps in place there. Just kind of sits there. And everything, so it popped off. We're going to leave it to the side, but that's literally all it is. So, that's out of the way. We're going to go ahead and we're going to, uh, I drilled out that already may do a little more see if we could put the that in place there and then we're going to try to press this bearing out we're going to heat it up get all the flammable stuff out for now and heat it up and try to press it out so we got to find a socket and probably some good wood some sturdy stuff and uh go ahead and try to see if we can get this baby out of here all right i think it broke loose See the socket going down. Yep. So let's go ahead and make sure we didn't destroy too much. This cover had a crack in it already. Right there. That was not caused by me or else I would have never attempted this. Oh yeah. She's coming right out for us. I heated this up with the torch to get the aluminum good and good and ready. So I don't want to set it on the directly on these metal plates right here it i just feel as if i'm going to damage it so and i like i said my whole job is absolutely terrible here so but at least it's coming out and it made a little poop and then there it went so the instruction manual shows it going in this direction but i don't know if that would have been the great idea to fight it out versus this way so i'm gonna continue getting this the rest of the way pressed and uh we'll be right back and that moment of truth. Cool. One bearing removed. All right. So now we got to clean that and get the new bearing in and seal. And this side cover will be good. Yeah, I, I, I looked at myself and I said, there's no way. I was going to be able to pound that out. I mean, I, was, I started really getting on this thing and finally, like, poof, and then it went. But I would have been hammering and hammering, and I just didn't like the idea of that anymore. So it, w it was time for an upgrade. Plus, they had it on sale for 60 off. So go check your local Harbor Freight, actually, right now. Uh, mine had a bunch of sales on some good stuff. It even had a generator, but because I've already got one out there somewhere, it uh, I didn't need one, or else I probably would have nabbed it. So they had like $150 off so, and everything. So go ahead, check out your local Harbor Freight now. The day of this video release. All right. Going in nice and straight from the looks of it. Ugh, I think we're extending our limits here. Hold on, let me, let me reset. At least we're getting in there. Yeah. We're reaching our limits here, so let me reset. But I had to get a flat piece of steel to make her start off straight in here, so be right back. Just need to add another piece of wood. All right, this is, I don't know how to call it, a critical part of this time when we go down so far, but we need so much lip to stick above. So what we're gonna do, because the wear plate fits around it as a guide, what we need Stuff's probably gonna drop on me here. Try to attempt to drop. We need enough lip to stick up to where that sits. And I think we might have got her, because that's how it looked before. We might touch her down just a little bit because as this wear plate wears. I don't know if the center of it clearances it enough, so we're going to put that bearing down just a little bit, but 
it acts as like a center guide for this. Yeah, just a smidge more. Let's drop her down. And that should, in theory, use my finger here, sorry. Sorry for the terrible view. I am definitely not garage set up here. So you guys are looking there. I'm looking past the camera here. You know, it helps to tighten the pump up all the way so we can get proper pressure. And then this is where, right there, that feels good. So we are gonna stop pushing the bearing in. Yep, got just enough lip, it looks as good as the last one did. Got enough lip there to hold, to guide. And then this kind of rotates in here, just sits in place. I might put a smidge of something on the back so when we're assembling it doesn't, oop, look, I fall out. So that is in. Now we gotta get the seal. We might go traditional on this. I cleaned out the inside of the bore and everything. So let me get the seal out and we'll get reset up. And then a quick one. You don't want to drive that bearing down too far because you'll block the hole if you're going to use the timing rod. It'll hit it and that's where the cam rides. So I'm going to get that cleaned out here and then we will get that, uh, we'll get that seal pressed in here real quick. Seal's not there somewhere, but even with just one finger, I'm literally pushing it into place with just one finger. And we are flush. And of course everything's gonna fall down on us. Or to attempt to. We have got a good seal in there. So, new bearing. Without dropping everything and destroying it. Good bearing in there. And a new seal. So the side cover is rebuilt and ready for the saw. So another one of those little short videos, but it's kind of been a long one for me. Trying to, like I said, it was just one of those, you know what, I wasn't going to get that out. So 12 ton shot press. This is going to be something used quite often. I'm gonna have to get more flat steel and stuff like that. And it doesn't come with wood, obviously, but it comes with those down there. And I didn't want to stick the weaker metal on those. I'd rather have the wood for something to crush on, so. All right, so I got a heck of a mess to clean up here and get shut down. It snowed outside, but didn't do enough to get the four-wheeler on the concrete. Boo-hoo, so. All right, just wanna say thanks for watching. Oh yeah. And they're a little toy from Harbor Freight. I had it on sale. That's their new model, and it was out there for like $26 less. And I know it's like, you know, five-day warranty, but I think I'd be fine. So that'll help out with other future things in here, whether I hook it up there to get saws down or put it in the bed of the truck or who knows, front of a four-wheeler. But this doesn't use a battery. It's a different kind of just a it's batteryless ignition system, magneto, stuff like that. So anyways, say bye, everybody. And uh, once again, thanks for the uh, everybody, the support on a thousand subscribers. I couldn't have done it without you guys. And we've got a lot more McCullough action. And I've got, the saw is up there that we're going to get. So, you know, maybe I'll give it a choice. Maybe between a 610 and that and a 1010. We'll, we'll see. That's 610, there's a video on it fixing. It runs good. So, hibernating for the winter. So, all right. I'm going to say... Thanks for watching, and uh, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you all.